Weeks after the terror outfit Jaish e Mohammed carried out one of the worst attacks on the Indian security forces, the world is seeking a ban on the terror outfits and punitive measures against its chief Maulana Masood Azhar. United States, Britain and France proposed the United Nations Security Council blacklist the head of Pakistani-based militant organization Jaish e Mohammed, which is responsible for the Pulwama terror attack. US, UK and France have asked 15 members of the United uh, Nations Security Council Sanctions Committee to subject Malana Masood Azhar to an arms embargo, global travel ban and asset his and freeze his assets. All right, Gaurav Sawant joins us with more uh, details on this. Gaurav, uh, you know, despite Pakistan still actively supporting Malana Masood Azhar, if these sanctions are applied, what would it mean for uh, Pakistan and Maulana Masood Azhar? Ankit, there will be renewed pressure on Pakistan, especially at a time when the Financial Action Task Force is keeping a hawkeye on Pakistan and, and at a time when the Financial Action Task Force renewed Pakistan being on the grey list saying that Pakistan has not taken effective action against either lashkar e taiba or Maulana Masood Azhar of jaish e Mohammed, the Haqqani Network and other terrorist organizations operating out of Pakistan. And this means denying them ground, denying them finances, denying state support to terror. And all of this Pakistan has failed. Now, if India is able to prove that Pakistan continues to support lashkar e taiba and jaish e Mohammed, and if the United States is able to prove that Pakistan continues to support Taliban, and Al-Qaeda, uh, then Pakistan could well be on the Financial Action Task Force blacklist, which would be disastrous for a country that's actually tottering on the edge of virtual bankruptcy. They have less than $7 billion to see them through the next couple of months. And if they do not get the $12 billion bailout, then Pakistan will be in deep financial trouble, Ankit. Financial trouble for Pakistan, global isolation and of course uh, the pressure on the borders with India as well. If this doesn't change Pakistan's view on what they are doing, nothing will. All right, uh, this is our continuous focus of uh, India strikes back. The way India in fact has been dealing with this entire situation after the Dimash issue yesterday in New Delhi to Pakistan's acting high commissioner demanding immediate release of wing commander Abhinandan. India's mission in Islamabad has now formally asked for their release, in fact. Letter sent to Pakistan's Ministry of Foreign Affairs. Uh, this after India lost one of its uh, MiGs to the Pakistani side when Indian Air Force pilot went missing in action chasing a Pakistani jet. Shortly after Pakistan media aired visuals of captured Indian pilot Wing Commander Abhinandan in custody of the Pakistani military, Ministry of External Affairs on Wednesday confirmed the news. India is now raising diplomatic offensive against Pakistan. Remember, Pakistan has already violated Article 13 of the Geneva Convention as it released a video where one can see how the captured Indian pilot is being mistreated. Prime Minister Narendra Modi on Wednesday chaired a crucial security meeting in the wake of the escalating tensions between India and Pakistan. The Prime Minister-led committee has decided India will not buckle under the pressure. Navy, Air Force and the Army have been given a free hand to take future course of action. A bibiting reply would be given at a proper time. On Wednesday, Pakistan claimed that it shot down an Indian Air Force jet. However, the Ministry of External Affairs confirmed that only one Indian Air Force jet was uh, in fact shot down and a, the pilot now is in captivity of Pakistan. As tensions rise on the line of control, India is on a state of high alert. The emergency measures kicked in once Indian fighter jets engaged Pakistan aircraft on the LOC. Eight airports across the northern states were shut down. All civilian flights to and from Amritsar, Pathankot, Srinagar, Jammu, Shimla, Dharamshala, Kullu and Leh were suspended, leaving the passengers stranded. Prachalan ke karano se, अभी हमारा जो एयरस्पेस है उसको क्लोज किया गया है 
और उसके चलते कोई फ्लाइट्स अमृतसर आ नहीं रहे हैं कमर्शियल फ्लाइट्स और जब क्योंकि अमृतसर में कोई बेस तो है नहीं तो जब फ्लाइट्स आएंगी नहीं तो जाएंगी नहीं तो उधर क्या है ना वो डोमेस्टिक एयरलाइंस वाले को और सिक्योरिटी वालों को कुछ कम्युनिकेशन गैप है ये लोग हमारे को जाने को बोल रहे हैं वो लोग रोक रहे हैं थोड़ा दिक्कत हो गई थी द गवर्नमेंट ओपन एयर स्पेस फॉर सिविलियन फ्लाइट आफ्टर अ फ्यू आवर्स वंस द थ्रेट ऑफ एरियल स्ट्राइक फ्रॉम पाकिस्तानी साइड एंड But intermittent firing on the LOC means life in villages along the LOC won't be returning to normal soon. All schools within 5 kilometers of the LOC in Poonch and Rajouri districts are closed. Bahut dar lagta hai hame idhar. Zyada firing vagaira hoti hai to jo hum par nahi sakte iski wajah se. The Indian Air Force has upgraded the security alert to the highest levels. putting all fighter bases on maximum alert army camps and cantonment areas across northern and western india have also been brought under heavy security cover at the indo pak border bsf2 has been alerted police ya other sister agencies ke sath hamesha coordination mein rehte hain aur hum abhi bhi unke sath pura touch mein hain और किसी भी चीज को हम देख परख के सोच के विचार करके उसमें आगे बढ़ेंगे सभी को साथ लेके बाकी सीमा सुरक्षा बल बॉर्डर पे हमेशा ही चौकन्ने रहते हैं और एक्स्ट्रा विजिल और हो गई है इन पंजाब माधोपुर आर्मी हैज टेकन चार्ज ऑफ द पठानकोट जम्मू हाईवे फ्रॉम पंजाब पुलिस डेली मुंबई एंड फाइव अदर सिटीज है India today I mean India and Pakistan aerial dog fight it was Jammu and Kashmir's Rajouri district which suffered locals in fact not only heard explosions but also suffered infrastructure damage India today's Pooja Shali and Sunil Bhatt traveled to Rajouri to bring you this round report Behind these dense mountains lies the line of control the epicenter of india pakistan military escalation india and pakistan fighter jets engaged in a dog fight here and the invading aircraft was shot down behind me you can see that is the line of control and it uh, the people here are saying that they saw pakistani jets hovering over this area and after that uh, they dropped some bombs also at some places and uh, fortunately those bombs uh, fell uh, in the forest area and there were no casualties of our uh, for people who are living here and uh, the, after that uh, high alert was sounded all across the line of control in rajouri district in punch district villagers here are in a state of fear and panic they witnessed the pakistani fighter jet going down हेलो सी पर ब्लास्ट हुआ हम अपने अपने घरों में बैठे थे लेकिन हम देखने लग गए भाई क्या हो गया उसके बाद क्या हुआ कि ऊपर से छतरी आई है नीचे जब ब्लास्ट होने के बाद में छतरी आई धुआं ही धुआं हो गया ऊपर छतरी में कौन था क्या पता क्या हो लेकिन हाइट में बहुत ही छतरी ऊपर से नीचे आई धुआं ही धुआं हो गया और धुएं के बाद में छतरी निकली उस बीच से छतरी आई है पता नहीं क्या चीज थी लेकिन वो छतरी घूमती घूमती आगे हेलो सी पर जाके गिरी है तीन चार उन्होंने कोई बम कराए है उसके बाद वो भागने की कोशिश की है जब वो भागे है तो ए एल सी एल ओ सी पर एक जो है वो उधर कहीं गिर गया है उससे कोई धुआं वगैरह निकला है और एक कुछ छतरी सी भी देखते हैं कुछ आइटम कुछ से कोई गिरी है द सिचुएशन इज नो डिफरेंट इन नेबरिंग नाउ शेरा एज पाकिस्तान टारगेटेड इंडियन पोस्ट थ्रू आउट द नाइट the families here uh, in these border villages are are scared and they're living in fear because they say that through the evening late into the night there is often shelling there is a loud loud noise and the explosion sometimes is so bright that even when there is no electricity in and around their uh, localities they can still hear and see it very clearly and of course uh, they are now keenly waiting and watching what the next situation is going to be wo shelling hui hai aaj bhi hui hai hui hai to kafi loud awazein aati hain kis tarah aati hai baaki to wo us bhai guru ki कृपा है बहुत जोर से आवाज आती है यहाँ हमारे दरवाजे और मिट्टी ऐसे गिरने शुरू हो जाती अच्छा? है हाँ जी मकान कांपते हैं मकान कांपते हैं हाँ सर द सिचुएशन इन लाम वॉज एक्सप्लोजिव टिल वेंसडे नून देर वॉज हाउ एवर समल्स ऑफ नॉर्मल सी लेटर नाउ देर इज काम 
but it is a very uneasy calm you know people are just trying to uh, go through their days and evenings but they also are having sleepless nights because there are these loud bangs and loud explosions that take place through the shelling from the pakistani side and this is where you know what it means uh, when there is action taking place uh, this is where people who brace it each day are actually a living example of courage and they're just trying to live it through smiles taking each day as it comes from lam noshera sector with nasir khan pooja shali Well, India is leaving no stone unturned to ensure that the safe return of an Air Force pilot who was captured by the Pakistanis. But what are India's options in the face of this adversity? A major escalation on land and up in air. This a day after India struck Jesh terror camps inside Pakistani territory. Pakistani forces chose to target Indian military assets instead. one pakistan air force fighter aircraft was shot down by a mig 21 bison of the indian air force in this engagement we have unfortunately lost one mig 21 the pilot is missing in action islamabad blew hot and cold at the same time in a televised address prime minister imran khan offered peace this when his troops hit an iaf jet and claimed to have captured an indian pilot mera sawal hai hindustan hukumat se ki kya jo hathiyar aapke paas hai aur hamare paas hai kya hum miscalculation afford kar sakte hain india and pakistan at a dangerous flash point but diplomacy and back channel reaching out are the options with india to get its missing pilot back at wuhan external affairs minister sushma swaraj told russia and china that india wants no further escalation as she briefed the two key member states of the un security council about india's air strikes this was not a military operation no military installations were targeted the limited objective of the preemptive strike was to act decisively against the terrorist infrastructure of jaish e mohammed in order to preempt another terror attack in india india does not wish to see further escalation of the situation india will continue to act with responsibility and restraint new delhi may also engage the international community to negotiate the release of the indian pilot pakistan claims to have captured india may examine the geneva conventions that protect combatants and civilians in enemy custody political sophistication now holds the key geeta mohan for india today Amidizing India Pakistan tension the opposition on Wednesday condemned the ruling BJP government over what it termed was a blatant politicization attempt of the armed forces sacrifices and also criticized the prime minister for not convening an all party meeting representatives of 21 political parties including congress president rahul gandhi trinamool congress chief mamta banerjee and cpim general secretary sita ram yachuri met in the aftermath of the indian air force strike on jaish e mohammed training camp in balakot in pakistan and accused the government of politicizing the matter meanwhile junior minister arun jaitley slammed the opposition parties and asked them to introspect and in turn accused them of politicizing the entire incident the meeting of 21 parties expressed their deep anguish over the blatant politicization of the sacrifices made by our armed forces by leaders of the ruling party national security must transcend narrow political considerations mujhe yaad hai ki jab united states ki naval seal abbottabad se osama bin laden ko le gayi तो क्या हम नहीं कर सकते ये केवल कल्पना होती थी इच्छा होती थी एक फ्रस्ट्रेशन था निराशा थी आज तो वो भी संभव है राइट ब्रेकिंग न्यूज कमिंग इन वाइल द बीजेपी एंड जूनियर मिनिस्टर अरुण जेटली सेट द ऑपोजिशन मस्ट इंट्रोस्पेक्ट मीन वाइल कर्नाटका बीजेपी चीफ बी एस पुलिटिसाइज़ इज़ द एयर स्ट्राइक्स 
in a blatant display. He comes out and said, India's preemptive strikes on terror camps in Pakistan have created a wave in favor of Prime Minister Narendra Modi and it will help the party win 22 out of 28 Lok Sabha seats in the state of Karnataka. Nothing could be more brazen, nothing could be more clear than this attempt of utilizing this current crisis, the tensions in the country for political gains. My colleague Nagarjun Dwarkana joining me for more on this story. Nagarjun, this completely deflates the claim of the Bharatiya Janata Party that all that is happening has nothing to do with politics. B.S. Yadurappa so brazenly and openly courting the airstrike for political gains for the Bharatiya Janata Party. Well, that is true, Ankit. In fact, it was shocking also for many BJP natives that Yadurappa came in, in public domain and made such remarks in Chikmudurza when he was speaking to the press yesterday. He said that the youth of India are celebrating People across the country are very happy and with the airstrike that has carried out against Pakistan, at least in Karnataka, the BJP can get 22 out of the 28 seats with this positive uh, uh, action of India against Pakistan, clearly politicizing what the Air Force, what the Army and what the Armed Forces are doing. While the top bosses of BJP have said that this issue should not be politicized, we see the state president in Karnataka clearly taking advantage and political mileage out of whatever has happened in the border district of India. All right, thank you so much, Nagarjun, for joining us with all those uh, details. An absolutely uh, bizarre and shocking, in fact, use of uh, the Indian airstrikes by BSJ Durappa for political gains, keeping in mind the upcoming elections. That's all that we have in this bulletin. News and updates will continue. Remember, India today's biggest focus, massive deployment all across the country. And uh, we are covering the entire surgical strikes, airstrike and the aftermath, the best all across the channel. No hysteria, no war mongering, only facts. That is what we do here at India Today. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching the video. For more such news and updates, please like, share and subscribe to India Today. Also check out our other great videos from our channel, We Know You Would Love To.